Okay. Let's, since we're down this way, let's go ahead and do this one. Bring it straight across. And also, we're going to want to do one on either side of it. Now you see how I've done that? We're going to want to go down through here and do that for all of these. Okay? Because now you can see that holds. Now let me do one right here for you right here so you can get an example and you can do this off camera. You can tighten these things up off camera. Take your time and do it. And you see there what I've done there? Now, after we go through and we do all these loop slices like so, then we can go in put it about like that. Now I'm going to grab this edge and of course we'll move it down. Actually, I'm going to slide it. Now I want to go in and make these verts, make sure these verts are joined. Okay. Now you can see our corner right here is holding a lot tighter. Okay, and we'll fix these other corners too. Now I've basically given you the rundown of that. Now you need to take your C key and we need to go around this sucker like this. Okay. And we're going to make a, a line, outline, all the way around this. Like so. And we're going to go all the way around the outside. Like so. We'll take this one on all the way over. Shift click here. And we'll bring this one down. So, and we're going to go all the way around on the outside like this. And if you can find an easier way to do this, please let me know. Maybe you found a way to do it with the bevel. I've tried several things and just haven't had any luck besides doing it manually like this. So just bear with me and I'm going to go around here real fast so I can give you all the lowdown of what's going on and you all can fix this up off camera. It doesn't have to be super straight or anything. Just close to the edge so it can tighten it up. Okay, now we went all the way around the edge there like that. Now the only thing left to do is to go in and tighten some of this up. See, this needs a little tightened up here. Right there. This is looking good. This down in here needs tightened up along with right here. So what do we got to do? 
we got to go in and add loop slices on either side of these here. One here, one here. Um, one on this side, all the way down. Now, as you can see, that right there is definitely holding now, see? So I want you guys to go in and tighten up all these corners. And when you get done with that, we'll be ready to uh, move on. As you can see, I'm putting one on either side of these slices. Okay, and we're going to have to put one here. Go all the way up. Like so. And just go around like that. And as you can see, that tighten that up, that tighten that up. Tighten up all these corners. Down here, I'm pretty, I'm looking pretty tight there. That looks pretty good. To be honest with you, I might need to tighten it up a little more, but all in all, that's looking fairly good. And let me turn back on my wireframe. And as you can see here, once I go ahead and extend these across, I'll have some pretty uniform geometry here. Of course, things could be straighter, but I mean, we're looking at uniform geometry. This needs to come all the way up right here. Okay. And these need to come all the way up. It's going to give it a much more uniform look. Which, I mean, that's no big deal, but I'm really picky, can be, about my geometry. Because that really is what makes or breaks a model, is your geometry. Okay, looks like we're holding pretty good when I go into sub-D mode. The only thing I need to do is connect this and connect this up. And we will be ready to move on to the next stage. Which we're just roughing this out because, why is that? Because a lot of this detail can be took care of with texturing. Okay, There's no need to go in and model all the little burns and cracks inside this uh, speeder because texturing will take care of a lot of that. Unless you just like the the type of person that likes to model in your small details and stuff. Some people like to model in the ted treads of their tires. Other people will use a texture map to put the treads of the tires on there. It just depends on the type of person and modeler you are and the look you're going for. I myself like to model everything if I can. But, you know, there's nothing wrong with using textures to cheat. A little bit here and there. Everybody does it. Even the movies. Video games especially. Video games have to have a low polygon count, so they use texture for everything. The hair. They don't model nothing like that. Because game consoles have to render on the fly. As you're playing, the things have to render. You know, because it don't know what move you're going to make next, so it has to render on the fly. And it's a little different. Okay. Now we've got that strung all the way down there. Looks like we got some nice uniform, even geometry. When I hit the tab key, all my um, corners are tight as a waterproof piece of cloth or plastic. And we're looking pretty good. And in our next video, we will continue on. Thanks for watching.